But you can't execute me. I'm too sick to die. What, what do you mean, mean, sick? Oh, my darling Peckett, she is haunting me. And then the following year, 1957, came one of the most iconic creations in the history of musical theatre, West Side Story. And within all that, he wrote some of the most famous of all love music for two principal characters, Tony and Maria. It's all based on the Triton. Da 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 Maria. Maria I've just met a girl named Maria, and suddenly the name will never be the same. As a conductor, Bernstein inspired singers as profoundly as he did orchestral musicians. Marilyn Horn was his mezzo-soprano for their recording of Bizet's Carmen, which they made in 1973. concept of many things. For instance, many of the tempi were so slow that compared to what we'd been used to, but they worked. And when we were working, I could figure out exactly what he meant. And it was a lot related to knowing how to croon a little bit. You know, when you sing, that was easy to understand. And that was actually quite revolutionary for me because I'd already sung the usual and the whole thing we worked really hard on that together Segedilia from Bizet's Carmen, Carmen weaving her spell over Don José, luring him to join her at her friend Lilas Pastia's place near the ramparts of Sevilla, where he can be her new lover. Marilyn Horne and the New York Metropolitan Opera Orchestra, conducted by Leonard Bernstein. And Bernstein was also a greatly valued accompanist by instrumentalists, Stanley Drucker played Copeland's clarinet concerto with him many times. He was a true collaborator, and I felt he had great respect for the performer. And he was a performer himself, of course, and uh, he knew what it was to be a performer. He was, he was more than just a conductor. The Clarinet Concerto by Copeland. Stanley Drucker, accompanied by the New York Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by Leonard Bernstein. And Stanley Drucker, as the New York Philharmonic's very long-time principal clarinet, he was there for a record-breaking six decades. He played in all three of Leonard Bernstein's recordings of Tchaikovsky's Sixth Symphony. quite ill, and he had emphysema, and his belly was sort of distended. He really looked terrible. And he says, you know, this is a great piece. 
And he said, I was up till four in the morning studying the score. He said, and we're going to redo the whole piece and we're going to relearn the whole piece from the beginning. Very good psychology, I thought, with people. Bernstein, if he did push you, it was for a reason. It wasn't for about me, I'm Bernstein, don't you know who I am? It was about, I want to get it right, this is the interpretation, this is the balance I want in this movement. Right? 